Have you ever had to pack up all your things and move away? When Jim's parents said they'd do just that, he begged them that they stay. But plans were plans and off they went, for it was greener grass they sought. With a reluctant Jim, they settled in to the house their money bought. We joined Jim on his way to school, a place where he's ignored. To forget the dread he feels, instead he drifts to times before. But how long can you stay submerged in hazy days, your memories drawn? Sooner or later, you must wake up, or the time will be all gone. So as Jim arrived at school, he entered anxiously. Not knowing how or when, he felt today would mark the end of his invisibility. That morning, he sat by himself, but this was no surprise. After all, he was the caterpillar amongst the social butterflies. Recess was the same, and his enthusiasm started to fall. Maybe he'd been outcast forever. There'd be no change today, after all. But then at lunchtime, when the kids were playing like always, one by one, they slowed, then stopped, then stood there, utterly amazed. Right in the center of the oval stood a nervous, determined Jim, with everyone actually looking at him. The questions were brewing. What is he doing? Is he mad? Asked many a child until Jim discovered a skill he did not know he had. <laughs> And that was it. The children cheered. They'd seen nothing of the sort. Everyone wanted dancing lessons. It became everyone's favorite sport. But most importantly, Jim was no longer ignored. So if ever you're in a foreign place and you don't quite fit in, think of this story. Think of the glory of a little boy named Jim. Yeah.